I just got done milling this beam. I milled it, uh, the last two cuts were 10 inches off the deck. I wanted a 10 by 10 beam and uh, figured I would check my work when I was done and it was nine and a half inches in the center. And I'm like, what the hell? Well, as it turns out, when I built this trailer, I thought I built it heavy enough. It's got two by four tubing underneath it. So I put jacks in the front, jacks in the back. I didn't put jacks in the center. I figured it was sturdy enough. Turns out I was wrong. Uh, I just put a jack in the center of it now because these, there was a gap in these bunks, quarter inch gap in both bunks here. So I put a jack in the center and sure enough, raised the bunks up to the beam. And now when I push this thing all the way down the track, you can see exactly what happened. That blade is at 10 inches height. And as I get to the center, now that the track is actually level, you can see that half inch gap there, or quarter inch gap. I guess it'd be a half inch. It was a quarter inch off on each side. Get to the end of it, we're back to flush again because now the trailer is flush. So I guess let that be a lesson to people. If you're gonna build a trailer, make sure that you put some sort of a jack under the center because putting these heavy logs and then running this mill head down there definitely puts some strain on the center of that and it's gonna bowl a little bit and throw your measurements off. <laughs> 